when you decide that this manifestation is going to happen but even if it doesn't happen I'm gonna be okay that's when the magic happens are you at a standstill when it comes to manifesting is persisting feeling like it's too much work or that it's just not working well in this video I'm gonna share with you some things that I've learned when it comes to manifesting and why actually when I gave up and I didn't care anymore about my manifestation happening is when it actually happened my name is Danielle and on this channel I talk about all things law of assumption quantum physics and manifesting the life of your dreams if that interests you then consider subscribing to the channel so first off I want to start out by telling you guys that I'm not saying that you're supposed to give up on desiring to have your manifestation what I'm saying is that we need to take the neediness out of having to have it right now the feeling of like oh my goodness where is my manifestation this is what this video is going to be about because when you stop caring about whether your manifestation is going to come or not you are releasing resistance to the actual manifestation that you are desiring to have when you are forcing the 3d reality I want you to understand that what you are saying to your subconscious mind is that I don't actually believe that I'm in my desired reality Neville Goddard talks about taking the path of least action and I'm going to display a video that I did about that up on one side but it's really important that you know that you are not supposed to wonder about how your manifestation is going to work for you or how it's going to happen your only job is to desire it because once you desire it creation is already done then you go about your life as you normally would accepting the fact that what you have mentally created what you have said with your inner conversations that that thing is going to come to you now Forcing the 3D reality is not in your best interest because you're going to give yourself more stress. You're going to focus more on things that do not serve you. When you take the path of least action, you are literally doing the bare minimum, which is to mentally create in an imaginal act. During sats, before you go to bed, you lay down and you saturate your mind with the end result or you could have yourself do an inner conversation with a person that would imply that you already have your manifestation what is the path of least action imagination <laughs> and listening to your affirmations throughout the day once you can do that it's like you're entering into the sabbath state um, a very pivotal moment in my life when i realized that all of the studying that i did with neville came back to me and I had to remember how to do this is about seven years ago I needed a job ASAP if I didn't have this job it was going to go bad for me I literally had no job in the future and I only had a certain amount of money for like maybe a month's worth of rent I mean I was in my 20s and I lived in New York City so what I will tell you is that I knew about the law long before it was popular on YouTube and the one thing that I knew that Neville said is that you have to project yourself into the future as if you already have your desired outcome so I insert myself into a handshake saying you're hired before I even went to the interview I did that in my mind went to the interview the people they loved me and in my mind I'm like okay you need this job but if this job doesn't work out it's okay because I know that in that energy you cannot manifest from neediness you just can't I'm sorry that's not a limiting belief and then a week later no call and then I started to panic a little bit but I was like okay I need to keep my cool this is very important when you are looking to let go or to take your manifestation off the pedestal you have to remember that there are things working beyond your consciousness above like your infinite intelligence is working on your behalf the 3d is not what you need to focus on 
it's your imagination that you should focus on. Neville Goddard talks about that your human imagination is God. And so if we're to believe that we are working and we're co-creators with our infinite intelligence, then you have to start to believe that there's something that is deeply rooted in you that knows the path of least action. Okay? The state of being is what I started to get into because for, for a week, I didn't hear anything from the interview. And so I'm like, okay. But every time I felt doubt, I was like, look, creation is done. You have to remind yourself what the law of assumption says about creation is done, what Neville teaches you. He teaches that once you have a desire, it's done already. So your job is just to go about your life as if you already have it. This is how you're going to be able to manifest your desire a lot faster. Because when you don't care about what's going on, you don't care about your circumstances, what ends up starting to happen is that you are creating a state of being or vibration. And don't get scared about the word vibration. It's a scientific fact that we are vibrational beings. Okay? We all have an energetic feel. You can look this up. But the vibrational state of where you are in life is a direct correlation to your mental thoughts and you living in a desired reality in your imagination. So people will say, oh, I can't visualize. Use your inner conversations. That job came to me in a perfect way when I said, okay, I desire to have it, and God knows it would be wonderful if that job came to me as quick as possible. However, I am okay if it doesn't work out. And the great thing is that I waited all that time, and I was just giving myself the time to say everything is working out of my favor. My favorite affirmation is everything is working out of my favor. They're going to hire me. Everything is working out of my favor. Within that week to almost two weeks span where I was waiting for the company to hire me, I saw a series of things that kind of told me that I was on the right path. So I want to incorporate people trusting your intuition and not giving too much energy to the 3D reality because the 3D reality is going to trick you every single time. It's, it's the 5D where you need to live, which is your human imagination. If you live there each and every night when you go to bed, even if your 3D reality is not showing you what you desire to have, you know, because the law of assumption says this, that your imagination is where your true reality lies. If you are a master manifester, you are the operant power, you don't need to manifest anything. You are just being or stepping into the person who has that desire or that um, manifestation that they are looking to have in their life. Point blank in the period. My advice would be, if I'm honestly speaking from the truth, is when I stopped giving a damn and stopped caring about my manifestation, it happened because I was okay with the outcome. That's just the, the long and short of it. I was okay with the outcome as if I already am having it. That's what allowed me to get the call back <laughs> and they was like, hey, we want to hire you. And they could have went with someone else because there were plenty of people that applied. But I was the person that got the job and the position. And I, and I really did need the job. But I told myself, you cannot focus on you needing it. You have to focus on already having it. It's more so like a quiet, calm, like I know. The, the state of knowing is what you got to get into. Get it together, girl, because at the end of the day, if you desire to have something, that's yours. This is not about whether I'm supposed to have it or whether it's supposed to happen for me. The law is the law. So if you decide that something is yours, it's yours. No matter what, it's going to happen for you. I love you all so much. I am so grateful for you. Peace and blessings to everyone who has ever supported me. And you are the master of your reality. Hi.